All right, today I am looking at two extensions. Uh, these are ones that have been automatically pushed out. Uh, well, one of them has been already pushed out for York, um, but you can see where you can find them. Um, I'll put the links to them below in the description, but um, they are Google Meet Waiting Room and uh, Meet Attendance. So um, Google Meet Waiting Room is a way to make sure that kids can't get into or anyone can get into a meeting before a certain person jumps in. Now you have to be careful with it because if you installed this on your computer, it's not going to allow you to even get into the meetings that you've created. And I'll show you that in a second. The other one, Meet Attendance, is going to be for teachers. It's going to be optional for you to be able to download in York, um, but the link is going to be there for anyone else. Um, it's a way for you to go in and look at who's in your school um, or who's in your meeting and dump that out into a Google Sheet for you. So let's take a quick look here. So as you can see, I'm in my uh, computer here. I'm looking at uh, the Google Meet waiting room. Um, I'm going to add this to Chrome so that you can show you what to do. We'll add the extension. All right. So now I've got the waiting room set up. I can see I've got this little icon here with the camera in it. And we can try to open up a meeting that has already existed. And I can try to get into it. And it's going to say, wait for host. It's going to say, get ready. Now, if I'm really quick, I could click join now before it goes back to wait for host. Uh, most kids are not going to be able to get to do that. Even still, if you try to click it, it's going to jump you back in and say, wait, you need to wait for the host. So, Because um, I just tried to do it, and it jumped me to wait for host. So um, that's a number one. If you push it out to the students. Now, I have it installed. If I even myself tried to create my own meeting, so if I went to even to... Um, meet.google.com and started a new meeting and called it meet wait test or something like that. I hit continue. It's still going to bring me into the wait for host. Uh, still going to jump me right in there and say, whoop, wait for host. Okay. You can't get into the waiting room yet. No, you can't get into the room yet. You got to wait for that someone to jump in. So someone else with creation rights would have to come in and jump into that meeting. So again, this is why we want to have this pushed out for students to make sure they can't get into them. Um, and you don't want to put it out to staff because that way staff would would still be able to create their own. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go to my meet ready room and I'm going to remove Chrome. This way I can go back and create meetings again. So that's a, a fantastic tool to make sure that uh, people aren't jumping into meetings before you're getting into them. The next thing is meet attendance. You can see that here. I've already got it installed. It kind of looks like an apple with a check mark there. So we're going to go into a meet. I'm going to create a new meeting. All right. And I'm going to go to um, test 647 because I do a lot of testing of this stuff before I go ahead and put it out there. All right. So I'm going to jump into this meeting. All right. I'm in the meeting. You're going to see me uh, on the camera. I could add some other people if we wanted to. Um, so when you look at this people here, you have a new field here right next to it, okay? It's got a little uh, core with a check mark onto it, okay? That's telling you that it is actually looking and finding the people who are in the meeting to be able to kick it out for you. You can then uh, add it to a spread. So I would just click on this button here, and it would say boom, and it'll kick it out over into a new spreadsheet to have um, all your people in uh, um that you want to see in your meeting to make sure that they they showed up to the meeting, they were they were getting into it. Um, so it's not working for me right now because I'm the only person in here and it's not going to just kick out a sheet of just me. But that's a great tool to be able to keep track of attendance if you have a required meeting for people to come in, or if you just want to say, "Hey, I've got open office hours. I want to see who shows up. I didn't get a chance to look at all the people. Okay, let me go in here. Let me click on this attendance tracker." I'm going to kick out the attendance there, um, and that way I can take a look at it later afterwards. So great thing to do, quick way to take attendance during your meeting. So those are two um, fantastic extensions to take a look at inside of Google Meet.